What's up, YouTubers? So it's been a couple of days since I released some videos. Um, I got really wrapped up at work. Uh, today, actually, I got something in the mail. It was pretty cool. I'll show you when I get to work. I'm gonna go into my work today, gonna show you where I work, what my office looks like. I actually live in like, almost like the countryside. There was, there's nothing here. My apartment's over there, but. So family and friends, I would love to have you guys come visit. I would highly not recommend it. This place is over here. Mayo Support Center. This is where all the magic happens. Secret access, we got a little got some badge access. Hit that. Uh, it's pretty nice. Let there be light. Uh, this is where I sit. Uh, they gave me a nice little name tag. Picture of my PGY1 co-residents. This is my second year co-residents. Pharmacy licenses. We have these little buttons uh, for the teams that we work on. So a little laptop set up over here with no laptop. Some of my certifications. Yeah, I'm just bragging right now. They have this nice sign here. My certificate came in today. Pretty cool. Uh, my BCPS certificate. That sticker right there makes it official. They gave me this uh, nice pin as well that you can use. That's a horrible picture. Uh, I need to change that. All right, so it's pretty cool that I actually got BCPS certified and I wanted to share some of my experiences with the test, uh, especially since um, I'm in informatics. It was kind of a challenging test However, I actually passed it with less than 24 hours of studying. A test strategy that I used uh, and how I leveraged how the test was structured to pass the exam. I had originally planned to study for about two to three months. That's based on um, some of the feedback I got from my co-residents and other individuals that passed it. Uh, more realistically, it was about one month. So I, I was thinking, I need at least one month of study time to pass this exam. And what ended up happening was I ran out of time and I ended up with a little less than a week to prepare for this exam. So I didn't really have much time. I tried to think of a way to study and prep for this exam that would give me the biggest bang for my buck. So the main thing is I use ASHP's Resident Reward and Recertification Program. Um, it's $10 a month. The first year is free and they have 16 hours of CE essentially in this review course. It's 16 hours of CEs. My colleagues actually used was the ACCP's um, study material. The 2015 packet was about a thousand pages uh, and it covered everything. When I first started studying, I couldn't even get through the first chapter. It was like the first 15 or so pages and I just could not make it through the material. Uh, the first thing is that most of my colleagues that took the test said studying did not matter for them. It just didn't help them. Um, and a lot of it was because they answered those questions based on their experience from residency, from rotations and pharmacy schools, things like that. So my gathered, you know, I had two years of residency experience. Um, I got exposed to a lot of clinical rotations. Let me use that in place of studying. My test strategy, 60% of the test is on pharmacotherapy. 15% of the test is on like uh, government agencies, regulatory agencies and things like that. So they ask you things about leapfrog, CMS, uh, National Quality Forum. And so you have to know what they regulate, what they do um, and things like that. So meaningful use is another thing. Uh, that's 15% of the test. And then 25% of the test is all stats. My approach essentially, because of my colleagues and my co-residents that said this test was more practice experienced, I did not study for the 60% aside from watching those 16 hours of CEs from ASHP's program. So 60% of the test, I figured residency experience and clinical rotations, that should cover it. For the other 40% of the test, it's in my opinion, kind of like giveaway questions. You either know it or you don't. If I spend time on that and get at least, you know, a good majority of that 40% correct, and then use the knowledge I gained from residency to answer the other 60%, that should help me pass the exam. The exam in itself is like weighted out of 800 points, uh, between 200 and 800, and you only need the 500 to pass. I should be able to pass with that 
that thought process. So that's what I did. I focused a ton of time on stats. Um, I rewatched like the ASHP's lecture twice uh, on stats. Um, I read the chapter, and that's the only chapter actually I read in ACCP's book. Um, I read the stats chapter and then the government agencies one. And total time, when I counted, was 23 hours of actually sit down studying. So it's doable. I barely passed. That's kind of my experience. If you have um, recommendations or experiences about the test, feel free to leave it in the comments below. Let others know how you um, tackled this test. All right, until next time.